Good morning, Facebook friends, family, and so forth and so forth. I got a question. Everybody talking about this little fourteen-year-old, right? That uh, sexually assault, tried to sexually assault this lady in the raw Metro PCS, or stole money out of Metro PCS twice. I want to know where is this little baby mama? Where is his mama at for this baby to be out trying to? take somebody cootie and to go in these stores and boldly, do you hear me, boldly try to rob them. What is the damn mama at to this kid? The daddy, the auntie, the uncles, the somebody. Where is somebody that they could have called and said, your kid is doing this, that, or the other. Fast forward. Y'all know I am not a racist by far. You know, I love everybody. I just feel like, you know, the dark skinned ones is that God took you out the oven after me. And, the, you know, light skinned people or the white people or the pink people, stuff like that, they was taken out the oven before us. So I'm not racist. But if this little boy was white, this little boy wouldn't be on TV. This little boy, his little ass would be somewhere sitting, you know, at home with the therapist and shit trying to figure out why he out trying to take some coochie or why he out trying to steal. But this little black boy, two police, and on two different occasions, I want to know the first time this little boy went in there and stole that money out of Metro PCS, why didn't they call the parent, take this little boy back to school? Now, Y'all took this little boy back to school. How the hell did this little boy leave the school campus again? When was a parent notified about this damn kid? You t I, Now, don't get me wrong. Look, I was dead ass wrong for what he did. But I want to know, where is the parent? The police didn't think to call the parent. The police didn't think to take his little bad ass down to juvenile when he was in the store stealing. And an hour later was back in the store stealing again. Then I went trying to take somebody coochie. I'm not saying that this little boy was wrong. I'm a, was right. I'm not saying he was right. He was all the way wrong. Something wrong with that baby head. But on the same token, police don't give a damn about our kids. Y'all need to start, we need to start being more cautious and careful with our kids. Including me. But what I'm saying is when my kid was on school grounds, uh, when he wasn't supposed to be because he got suspended, I had to go down to juvenile to get him. But this little boy, 14 years old, done walked in the Metro PCS and they are using robbed. He robbed Metro PCS twice. The second time could have been prevented and the lady getting half, her, two, her coochie halfway took could have been prevented. So I want to know y'all, where is this kid's family? They ain't talked about it. They, they, they ain't said the mother was contacted, but she couldn't be reached or none of this. Somebody need to find out where's the parents to this kid and why did the police deem it necessary to say they dropped this little boy off at school. Somebody need to contact the school and see why the school didn't put the boy in, in uh, the ISS or call a parent or any of that. Where is the parent to this kid? Did nobody say CPS was notified or nothing? What they said was this little 14-year-old boy done robbed Metro PCS and aggravated a sexual assault or tried to sexual assault this lady. This is all they saying. Now, again, what this little boy did was all the way wrong. I just want to know where is the parent to this kid? Facebook, I'm giving a plea. If you know that kid or his mama, can y'all ask them why the hell they ain't up there trying to not defend this little boy, but at least show their face and show that we all ain't about shit and that we some of us do give a damn about these kids? I'm not saying that little boy mama caused him to do that because his mama could have taught him to be an upstanding citizen and do right, don't break laws, and his little bad ass just chose to do that. But however, where is the parents? Where is the police? At who said they took this little boy back to school. They ain't said nothing. They ain't got on TV and said nothing. But you got this little white boy who done went and killed four people and paralyzed one. And his little bad ass on TV smiling because he got uh, 80, 180 times four. Whatever for the four lives he took. This little motherfucker gonna be out of jail in a minute. You ain't, you, they not doing it. Y'all, all I'm gonna say is, this little boy, come here, come here. Let them look, come over this camera. You see that? That's my 14-year-old. I will break his neck from the top right up her all the way to her and just one little snap if he get kicked out of school. So, I don't, I just don't get it, y'all. I ain't no perfect parent because I don't even like my kids. I love them. I don't like them. They don't like me. Fine. Hell, they done ran away and everything else. But, 
I do make sure that they are protected. They do wrong, I beat that ass. They do right, I probably still beat their ass because for something wrong they did previously. <laughs> but, y'all, where is this baby parents? Why the police not being reprimanded or ain't nothing going on with the police? If I was that, hey, lady, the one who almost got her cootie took at that uh, Glory Dollar store, I'm going to go up there. You need to file charges on the police because the police didn't protect you, honey. Because if they would have, they would have had that little boy locked up and he wouldn't have been over there messing with you. Call the police, baby. Call Jim Adler. Call Brian Longcall. Call uh, the tough attorney, Bill Knox. Now, that's a dope case. Call you a lawyer and get you something out of these police, honey. Uh, I got, I'm got. i pulling up to this little boy's school, y'all. But I just wanted to say that I want to know where is that baby parent? The police hadn't said nothing about the parents. Hell, when a dog get killed, you had a, the owner of the dog on TV boo-hooing. Have a good day. Love you. Don't get in any trouble. You do. The child like on it? Yeah. Nigga, don't act like you uh, uh, all privileged. Pull let that wood down and open the door. If the child like on it, I'm not gonna get out and let you out like you raw. What, 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 just step over. So, you know, y'all, all I'm gonna say is, have a good day. Okay, love, you. love you too. All I'm gonna say is, where is the parent to that kid? And why did the police deem it necessary just to drop that baby off at school? Did you drop? Somebody need to contact the school. I want to know what school that baby went to. I want to know that y'all actually take that baby to school or that y'all just take that baby down the street and put him back out. And then tell him go on. And he ended right back up at that same store. How did he end up back at the same store? Okay. Well, uh, in other news, I am launching my Indian Cuisines menu uh, the second part of week, uh, second part of May. So be on the lookout for that. But anyway, y'all, I'll be back after I go get my face together and uh, go by this other kid's school. Y'all have a good day and pray over y'all babies. Uh, don't let everybody pray for them, but pray for y'all babies because I'll be praying for mine and y'all's that the, uh, the devil keep his hands off our kids. And don't blame the devil all the time, y'all, because it ain't always the devil's fault. I don't understand why the hell you sitting here waiting. This is what kills me. This lady is sitting here to let her baby out of school in the middle of the street. And this little baby go to my baby uh, uh, junior high school. This little boy nuts probably bigger than a grown man. Why is you stopping traffic to let him out? See? See? See what I mean? Y'all, pray for your kids and cover your kids and cover who around your kids. Because it is, it's, it's real rough out here right now. And later... I'm going to come back and we're going to talk about letting boys in girls' bathrooms and girls. We're going to talk about that too in a minute after I get myself together and look like something. Because I look like I am suffering from alopecia in the face. So, I love y'all. Y'all be easy. And I'm going to talk to y'all later on when I get myself together.